And we're back again, continuing on with God of War. So we're getting pretty close to the end. In the last video, we got through the, the uh, upside down temple there. We got the travel stone. And now we're ready to take on the realm between realms. This is pretty much going to be just a long fight sequence and <laughs> not a lot of dialogue, but we'll see how it goes. I'm pretty geared out at this point. Uh, nothing else here. So, oh, it's lagging a little bit here. It's weird. Right. So the spot that you weren't supposed to jump off before, now we jump off, and the realm between realms. If you're thinking about hurling us all into the void, I hope you're quite sure. Oh, we're, we're sure. Find our own path, right? Bollocks. <laughs> okay. This is where Tyr stepped beyond, and the Unity Stone protected him. Yep. Ready? Ready. Well, this is it, lads. It's been an honor. Our faith head. I like how Atreus climbs onto his back incredible. as he jumps off a cliff. Down we go. Superhero landing. Oh, how can I be so nauseous without a stomach? Come on, that was great. <laughs> Look. The tower. I knew there was something down here. Amazing. How do you hide something that exists in all realms? Cast it out of any realm to the space between. Clever old tear. Is Jotunheim on the other side? Can't be that. It's not like you go through Vanaheim to reach the Midgard Peak. But how do we use it? I'd suggest we look inside, but stay alert. Tyr's little challenges are never as simple as they appear. I have noticed. Well, this one seems oddly simple. It's just a long fight sequence. Well, this is sparse. The pedestal. Absorbing the stone's energy. Something's happening. Is it moving? It's moving. It knows what to do. The stone served its purpose. We're fulfilling to your spell. What happens now? No idea, brother. But after that fall, I'm sure we're past the worst of it. <laughs> oh, no, this is considerably worse. I know. Yeah, this would be a really good stop right here. Boy, these little buggers are annoying. Ah, <laughs> stop that. Might as well get that health and the rage. Now get on me. Oh, looks like Alpha. <clears throat> ah, that means more of these annoying elves. Left flank. Oh, 
That was less pleasant than I would have liked. Oh no! Okay, so. Back in hell? Oh dear, here they come. much easier than the last couple yeah definitely use the green stones because you always want to keep your health as high as possible especially your fire Some damage to him. Should have dodged. Actually not too difficult once you get all decked out in gear. Oh. Kick your butt. 
All right, and I think... I think that's all of them. You stop. I think it's over. Aye, but where are we? Where indeed? Alright, so which door opens? Any of them? Back to where we Look, started. We're back in Midgar. There's the bridge. We did it. The tower's back where it belongs. Now Tyr's travel room can take us to Jotunheim. How did Tyr do this? Odin suspected the giant secretly possessed some remnant of primordial Jotnar creative essence. The stuff all realms <laughs> were made of. That just sounds like a the bunch Unity of gibberish. The stone must have been fashioned from that essence. To trust an outsider with it, even Tyr, tells you just how desperate they were. And look, now we can finally light all the braziers and see what happens. Another name. Gloindor. The arcane runes. They must have been cluing us to look for Valkyries imprisoned in Muspelheim and Niflheim. Already did that. Okay, so there were two braziers there. We don't have to talk to the world serpents. I think we go back to Rock and Sindri. Do they have anything interesting to say? Nope, I guess not. Oh well. To this area. I don't know what we'll find when we get to Jotunheim, but we must cover our tracks. Odin's ravens will tell him of the tower's restoration, and we mustn't let our efforts be to his benefit. Very but we've well. killed so many of those darn ravens. All right, so all the towers are now in place, by the looks of it. So that would be Jotunheim. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so Jotunheim is available. This is it. Here we go. Wait a minute. This isn't going to work. What? There's no travel crystal. Tyr must have used his own eyes to refract the energy. It was his final failsafe. He's got eyes like him, Mimir. I've got an eye. One! Odin plucked out my other eye precisely to keep me from traveling. Sorry, lads. Thought that would work. What did Odin do with your other eye? He'd have kept it. In any of a hundred places, I'm afraid. We've come so far. There has to be a way. Look, bit of a long shot. For years, I'd see Sindri, sometimes Brock, lurking around in that mountain when Odin came for his visits. Maybe they know something. Brock and Sindri. You think they'll help us? Of course they will. They're our bros. And we reunited them. They owe us. Alright, so let's see what they have to say. Hey guys, question for you. Anyone know where we can find Mimir's other eye? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stop gagging, but... Sindri. <clears throat> I'm sorry. As a matter of fact, Odin asked me to... <clears throat> <clears throat> he wanted me to build a... <clears throat> oh my god, enough! He showed it to me. You see, and I... <clears throat> the coin. Sir, will you... Excuse me? Oh. Well, that was useless. You know, it was about that same time that Odin came around looking for me to build a statue with some sort of hidden compartment. Now, that not being a weapon and the Aesir being a bunch of pox speckled tigers, <laughs> I too saw fit to decline. Ah, Brock. But I got the best got dialogue. Just the same. What was the statue? It's that one of Thor out there flashing his sack to the oh. lake. <laughs> the statue that the serpent ate. Sorry about that. Feeling much better. How are we supposed to look inside the snake? Inside? Oh no. 
God, what a wuss. We better go see what the world serpent has to say about that. Okay. Well, lads, I don't know what lies ahead, but now would be a good time to make sure your gear is ready for the worst. Anything Our gear is do, ready for the worst. I'll do it now. Just some sage advice. Okay. So, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go get the dialogue here, and then once more to the horn. To the horn. And up we go. Yep, the world is looking pretty good right now. You gotta wonder how many of talks without any lungs or anything. So much just rides on magic as the answer. Is that so? Said you lost to us. Ah, uh, he thinks it might still be in his stomach. Um, and he's open to letting you go into his mouth to look inside. <laughs> He's not wild about it either. Okay. All right. So our next task is to ride the boat into the serpent's mouth. But I think that's where I'm going to end this video. Uh, I just want to kind of divide the last couple up into smaller segments because just to make sure the recording's good and everything. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'm going to have the next video recorded pretty much right after this one. And I'll have both up pretty soon. So, all right. That's it for now. See you soon. Bye.